What's going on guys and welcome back to the Texas Fishing Force today. We are going to dive into an in-depth look at the Shimano Corrado DC, the digitally controlled fishing reel. All right, let me start off first by saying I have absolutely zero affiliation with Shimano. Uh, I wish I did because they've got some pretty awesome products, but I don't. Now, if you've been watching the channel over the last few months, you noticed I have been using this Shimano DC pretty regularly and I've been talking about it quite a bit as well because I really, really like this reel, which is why I'm doing this review on it today. I'm going to give you my opinion on what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and uh, just a general review. All right, here it is. This is the Shimano Curado DC 150HG. Now, if you're unfamiliar with that, the DC stands for digitally controlled because this has a computer, a microchip inside the reel that helps control the spool when you're casting. Now, it is supposed to allow you to cast further distances and it's supposed to reduce backlashes and just make this a much smoother operating reel when you're casting. This reel does retail for right at uh, $250. I believe it's $249.99. So we're gonna take an in-depth look at this reel and uh, tell you what it's all about. Now the reel comes in three gear ratios. Uh, I believe it's the 6.2 to one, 7.4 to one, and 8.5 to one. The one that I got was the 7.4, which is in the middle. Um, I didn't know exactly what I was gonna use it for, and I do a lot of different types of fishing. So I ended up kind of going in the middle so that the reel that I choose um, would be a little bit more versatile and just kind of middle of the road for me. Now this reel has 11 pounds of drag. It's just under eight ounces and it uh, retrieves 31 inches per rotation uh, of the reel, which is uh, actually pretty nice. Uh, now I've paired this reel with a Cajun Custom Rods. This is the Revenant Elite. It's a medium fast six foot 10. And uh, this is what I use for wade fishing and kayak fishing and a lot of my inshore fishing. It's very, very sensitive, super strong, and it's really just the perfect combo. Now I did put a 40 pound Power Pro super slick line inside the reel. And that's really what I use on most of my uh, bait casting reels. Now I picked up this reel to see what all the hype was about. Everyone was talking about this digitally controlled reel that allows you to cast twice as far and, uh, you know, eliminates backlashes altogether. And, you know, just how smooth and incredible this reel was. So I had to go check it out. Uh, that's why I got it. And over the last two months, I have really put it to the test to see if all the hype was true. All right, so let's talk about some of the settings and features of this reel. It is the DC, so it is digitally controlled. It has a microchip inside that controls the braking system of this reel. Now, on the side here, we have this little dial. It has uh, a few positions. It's open, one, two, three, and four. In the open position, let's go ahead and get it there. We're open. Open allows you to open the side plate just like that. Now on the inside right there, that white ring, that is your uh, DC chip. That's the microchip that is controlling everything. Uh, and if you notice, it is sealed. Uh, a lot of people have asked about what happens if this gets wet. Not a problem. I accidentally dunked this in salt water about two weeks ago and then I just got home. I washed it off with some fresh water and it still works just fine. That's the open position on this dial. You have four settings, one, two, three, and four. They're numbered right here on the side. All right, setting one is your least amount of brakes, your least resistance on the braking system. Now, if you move it to setting two, that is what is considered your braid or monofilament uh, setting. Setting three, setting three is going to be your fluorocarbon setting and uh, it does apply um, more brakes on that setting. Setting four is the most amount of brakes. It's what you're going to want to use if you're throwing really light baits into wind or if it's super windy out there and you're, you're struggling um, to make those casts, that is what you're going to use setting four. 
Now, me personally, because I have Braid on here, I generally use setting two, unless uh, it's really, really windy out there and I am throwing lighter lures, I will sometimes switch over to setting three. I personally have never had to put it into setting four yet, and it works just fine. Now, all of these specifications, they don't really mean anything unless that reel actually casts the way that they say that it's supposed to. Now, even on my very first day using this reel, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I loved it. It is uh, by far the best reel I've ever used. It is fantastic. It casts so incredibly smooth. Uh, I'm going to show you a few videos of me using this reel and my thoughts, you know, at the moment of when I was actually using it. So the first chance that I get to really test out uh, this Corrado DC uh, from Shimano, I am really, really liking this reel. It is so easy to cast. Uh, backlashes are almost non-existent. This, uh, this reel is phenomenal. Um, I've used a little, quite a few high-end reels and uh, this, you know, uh, those just don't compare to this. This, this. this reel is fantastic. Maybe I'll do a full review on it, but, and I also do really like that Corrado DC sound. This thing just casts so good. <laughs> but does this reel actually do what they claim that it does? Can you actually cast this further than other reels? Does this eliminate backlashes or at least minimize them? And does this cast smoother and better than other reels? Now, when it comes to casting distance, um, yeah, this absolutely casts further. Is it really that noticeable though? Yes, it really, really is. Um, I can cast much further with this reel than any reel I've ever owned. And I have, I have used a ton of different reels from a ton of different manufacturers, and this just casts further. Now I've actually handed this reel off to other fishermen that I know, and I know at least three people that now own one of these reels because they used it. And it really, really does make a difference when it comes to casting distance. This thing will outcast any reel that I've ever used. Now I don't know if it's going to outcast your reel because I don't know what reel you're using. But out of all of the reels that I have ever used, this will definitely cast further by a long shot. But will this uh, eliminate backlashes? Well, no. I have definitely backlashed on this reel, um, but I will say it really depends on the settings. Uh, if you have this on setting one or two, you have a higher chance. Now, if you are uh, casting this properly, it definitely minimizes uh, your chances of backlash. It, I, it happens every once in a while. I have uh, backlashed a few times. It's, it's very, very minimal. I will say if you put this on setting four, it's going to be almost impossible to backlash it. There is a, a video going around somebody putting this on setting four and casting this against a brick wall. And uh, I tried it and it worked for me too. I could not backlash this on setting four. I can't do it. I've tried it multiple times. Can't do it. This, uh, this absolutely stops the spool when it hits that wall. Um, if you can backlash this on setting four, I would be very, very surprised. In fact, I'd like to see it because it seems almost impossible. Now, does this cast smoother? Does it cast better than other reels? In my opinion, yeah, it does. Uh, I actually want to switch every single one of my reels over to a DC because it really is that much better. I, I, I absolutely fell in love with this reel. This is the best fishing reel I have ever used in my life. I absolutely love it. Um, in, in fact, it's, it's almost hard for me to pick up other rods and reels now because I use this pretty much primarily. I would rather tie on a new lure than switch to a different rod and reel because I like it that much. All right, so I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the Shimano Corrado DC, what I like about it and what I don't. Uh, when it comes to what I like about it, yeah, almost everything. It is nice. It, you will increase your casting distance with this reel. You will minimize your backlashes. It casts super smooth. Plus, I really like, again, I like the sound of that DC chip going off. I mean, it just, it gives you another experience. I, I really like it. Um, but what I don't like... There's only really one thing that I don't like about this reel, and it is that it's heavy. It is sitting right at, yeah, right at eight ounces, um, which doesn't seem a lot, but if you're out wading, 
there are definitely other reels that are lighter that you can kind of fish all day without, uh, you know, your hands or your wrists getting tired. However, Shimano makes a Metanium DC. Now the Metanium DC is very, very much like the Corrado. However, it is lighter. It, uh, it is made out of better quality materials and it is a lighter version of this reel. I may have to pick that up one day. However, that is not at that $250 price tag. I think it is uh, just over 500. So there's a huge difference in price. And I don't think the weight really bothers me that much to uh, double the price of my reel. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The uh, only thing I don't like about it is it is a little bit heavy if you're fishing with it all day. Now when I'm on the kayak, not a big deal. If I'm on a boat, not a big deal. Uh, the only time that would really bother me is if I was wading through the water and kind of holding that up and casting it all day long. I, I could see my wrist getting tired. But yeah, I'll deal with it. All right, guys, well, I hope you like this review. I hope you like the video. And like always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, comment below on the video, hit that bell notification so you know when I drop my next video. Thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you, and we will see you next time.